603 November Delta, 2012 172. And it's going from North Dakota today. We're gonna head to Bozeman, Montana, and then Wyoming and back to DC. Clear prop! Metric start formation echo 1753 Zulu. Wind 3503, three, visibility 10. Two clouds at 5500, temperature 242.10, temperature 3017. Visual approach runway 35 left and use, landing any partner runway 35 left and right. All the FRLs from the east departures runway 35 right, contact tower 120.55. All the aircraft contact tower 18.4. Grand Forks Ground, uh, Skyhawk 603 November Delta at Ab Flight with Echo. We'd like a east or westbound uh, VFR departure. Skyhawk 603 November Delta, Grand Forks Ground. Do you have uh, information on Echo? Victor Bravo, India. 603, uh, yeah, we have information Echo. Skyhawk 603 November Delta, Roger. Squawk 0146, departure frequency 132.3. You done with your run up? 0146 and 132.3, uh, and we're not done with the run up yet. We have to taxi. Sky 3 Delta, you can be around blind. on the ramp somewhere. Let me know when you're ready after that. 735 from UPS 83 in the blind on guard. Uh, 3 November Delta, Roger, we'll do a run up on the ramp. 735. All right, people, we're off. We have the airplane. We're about to take off. We have a ton of traffic here. You can probably see that. Um, but, uh,. We're headed to Glendive, Montana. We get some gas there, and then from there we'll go to Bozeman. Skyhawk 3 following you, uh, Seminole. Sky 3 November Delta, fly runway heading around 35 left, clear for takeoff. Traffic Seminole, two mile final. 3 November Delta, clear for takeoff, uh, 35 left, fly runway heading. All right, here we go. 220, are you with Grand Forks Tower? do this thing. Sue, eight, two Tango Falls, Seminole, mile and a half final, number two, runway three five left, could land. Engine instruments are green, airspeed's alive. Sue, eight, two Tango, the traffic light will fall. Sue, eight, two Tango, thank you. Are you with Grand Forks Star? Yeah. I have 3 November Delta, turn left and 5 west. Left and west for 3 November Delta. Skyhawk 3 November Delta, proceed on course westbound, contact departure 132.3, good day. On course westbound 132.3, 3 November Delta, see ya. Departure Skyhawk 603 November Delta, 2600 uh, westbound. Skyhawk 603 Delta, Grand Forks departure, radar contact, maintain VFR, transition to TFR approved. Uh, maintain VFR and we'll go through the transition, or through the TFR, thanks, yeah. Or, Skyhawk 3 November Delta, traffic 2 o'clock, 4 miles southbound, Cessna 172, 1600, we'll be climbing up to 3000 off the base. 3 November Delta looking. Alrighty, we're off. 278 negative. Roger, report established on the ground. So directly below us, I'll show you guys. That's a 271, one six miles from final approach. Is uh, let's run with the final approach. Two Falls Air Force Base. Uh, it's where all the Predator drones are. And flying through the TFR right now. Climb 70 November, report, craft and airport in sight. Oh, uh, you can see some of the Predators all the way down there. Number 70 November, radar service terminated, squawk VFR, fix the chain through. So, anyway, show you guys off for a few hours, because we're just flying for three hours now without doing anything. So, uh, see you in a little while. So, we are 22 miles from Glendive, Montana. Uh, first three hours of the flight have gone exceptionally well. Pretty smooth out here, a little bit bumpy over the Badlands-ish area. Um, 
Glenda, we're going to stop for some gas, uh, go to the restroom, and um, then keep going on to Bozeman. For those of you who wonder what kind of plane dash this plane has, uh, here we go. So it's a G1000, as you can tell, but it is a school airplane, so it does not have an autopilot of any sort. Um, for long trips like this, that is a little bit annoying, but again, if you know how to trim the plane out correctly and do things correctly, it's um, really not that bad. Like, I've barely been touching the controls at all this entire first couple hours of flight. Anyway, let's get weather at Glendive, and we'll be on the ground in a minute. Automated weather observation. Two, zero, five, two, Zulu. Wind, two, zero, zero, at zero, four. Visibility, one, zero. Sky condition, clear. Temperature, three, six, Celsius. Dew point, zero, niner, Celsius. Altimeter, three, zero, zero, eight. Remarks, density altitude, five, thousand, two, hundred, all right, so we have the weather. Um, it looks like runway 20 is going to be perfect. We'll just enter a left base into it, um, almost straight in, actually, and we should be good to go. Land out traffic, uh, Skyhawk 603 November Delta is 10 miles to the east inbound for landing. We plan on uh, going straight in runway 20. Land of traffic, Skyhawk 603 November Delta entering a left uh, final, or left base to final runway 20 Glendive. Alright, Glendive traffic, a bit turn south turn 9 as we tell you for we are in taxiway Alpha. Well, we're going to be waiting for you guys. Cross the road. Glendive traffic. Uh, Glendive traffic, uh, just let me know when you're across. Oh, we're waiting. We're fine. Uh, Glendo traffic, do you see me? I'm uh, getting on final right now. Uh, negative. Uh, you're doing a runway three zero. Runway two zero for Glendive, and I'm three miles on final. Yeah, that's what I think. So. Okay. Uh, I'm looking for it. All right, I'm gonna cross it right now, so I'm gonna go to the terminal for the taxiway out for Glendo traffic. Glendo traffic, I've got you in sight. You got plenty of room. Alright, thanks, friend. Line of traffic, uh, zero, or Skyhawk, 603 November Delta, short final runway 20. Line of. Woohoo, we made it to Glendive. We're in Montana. This is awesome. I can't believe I'm here. Glendive traffic, uh, Skyhawk 603 November Delta, clear of the active runway, Glendive. Let's get ourselves some fuel. Well done. All right, we're hot and we should be ready to go.
Let's turn this thing over. I always love starting these things when they're hot like this. Glenda traffic, uh, Skyhawk 603, November Delta, departing runway 30, Glenda. Nobody on final. Nobody on the runway. Let's get rolling. Engine and instruments are all green, airspeed is alive. 35, 40, 50. And we'll just slowly float off the runway here. See you later, land dive. All right. That was a good quick fuel stop. I think I could have made it without stopping, but you know what? Uh, there's no reason not to. So now we'll do a nice little climb up to 85, I think, to get over the mountains in Livingston and get full air uh, since it's 35 Celsius, so it's like 90 degrees here. It's hot. Okay, we're at 6,600 feet and it's still 75 degrees outside, so we definitely need a couple more thousand here. All right, everyone, so we are now over basically Livingston. Now we got Paradise Valley directly ahead of us. Bozeman is right behind those clouds or those ridge lines over there. Um, we're getting pretty close, which is pretty awesome. Um, Climbing up a little bit higher just to get through the pass uh, between Livingston and Bozeman. 85 would have been fine, but there's no reason to uh, not make the room that I need. Uh, weather's amazing. The whole flight's been awesome. Um, it was a little bit bumpy over the plains, but really not that bad at all. So uh, we are about 15 minutes out. Um, let's see if I can get some weather and we'll go from there. All right, we don't have the weather yet, but we will soon. Big Sky Approach, uh, Skyhawk 603, November Delta, about five miles east of Livingston. Skyhawk uh, 603, November Delta, Big Sky Approach. 3 November Delta, I'm going into Bozeman, and I just wanted to get in touch with you guys before I get there. Uh, 3 November Delta, Skyhawk 0333. 0333 November Delta. All right, we got a squat code and we can go into Bozeman. Bozeman is the busiest airport in Montana, uh, mostly because of tourism and stuff like that. Uh, it didn't used to be. When I learned how to fly here, it was an uncontrolled airport, but uh, now it has. They treat it kind of like a Class Charlie airport. Uh, 3 November Delta, right contact, 4 miles east of Livingston, you are. Uh, 3 November Delta, we're 9,300 and descending to 8,500. 3 November Delta, right here. Big Sky Approach, uh, 3 November Delta is 15 miles east of the airport. Uh, 3 November Delta, radar contact, verify information, uh, Kilo at Bozeman. Yep, I got information Kilo and I'm planning to go straight up 3 0. Skyhawk 3 November Delta, Red. Skyhawk 3 November Delta, contact Bozeman Tower 118.2, good day. 1182, see ya. Bozeman Tower, Skyhawk 603 November Delta, uh, 13 miles to the east inbound for landing. 
Dispatch for 7732, read back is correct, thank you. So it's on 603, November Delta, Bozeman Tower, continue inbound, make a straight in approach for runway 30, report 5 mile final. Straight in 30, report 5 mile final, 3 November Delta. Cessna 603, November Delta offset to the right of the center line. I've got a citation coming up behind you with about a 250 knot overtake. I mean, uh, remain north of the center line and expect runway 29er. We'll remain north of the center line and we'll expect runway 29er, uh, 3 November Delta. Cessna 3 November Delta traffic are following at your 12 o'clock and 4 miles Cessna in the right base for runway 29er. Report that traffic in sight. 3 November Delta, I'm looking for them. 3 November Delta has traffic in sight. Cessna 3 November Delta, number 2, runway 29 clear to land. Clear to land 29, uh, 3 November Delta, number 2. Joe speed 229, runway 30 clear to land, winds 310 at 12, traffic and right traffic for runway 29 is a Cessna. Hey, clear to land, please, Joe, Joe speed 229. Cessna 3 November Delta, turn left at the end, hold short of runway 30 on Charlie 3. Left at the end and we'll hold short of runway 30 through November Delta. There's line 33, turn left at Alpha 2, left on Alpha, taxi to original line, cross 21, monitor ground 28, have a good night. Made it to Bozeman. As always, it's beautiful. Hello. Hi. Hi. Oh, yeah. oh, oh, good to see I you. I made it. There's the plane. Look, it's so cute. <laughs> Will you fly me in it? Yeah, of course. All right, everyone. Welcome back on board. We're in Rexburg, Idaho. We got gas. We are ready to go. We're going to head to Driggs, see if we can make it over Teton Pass. Hopefully we can. And if we can, we'll just come back and land here and stay the night. No big deal. Um, with that, let's get rolling.